Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two characters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comments below. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the next episode. So let's meet our two fighters, Skipper, the leader of the Penguins of Madagascar and Perry the Platypus, the semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal of action, who has an iron will, nerves of steel, and several other metal-themed attributes, blah blah blah. Let's see which one of these stealthy beaked bruisers will win in a battle to the death. And you guys better be happy I'm doing this, because research can be... quite painful sometimes. This is Universes. Ever since they were hatchlings, these four little penguins have stuck together. Private, the moral support and cute and cuddly one. Kowalski, the brains and inventor. Rico, the muscle and weapons expert. But the one we'll be focusing on today is their fearless leader, Skipper. Skipper and his brothers were born in Antarctica, where they should naturally be because they're penguins. However, Skipper wanted to do new things, see new places, and completely reject nature. Even though in the first Madagascar movie, his entire goal was to leave the zoo and go back to Antarctica because it wasn't natural for him to be in a zoo. Ha, <laughs> but plot consistency, what's that? Am I right? Anyways, as Skipper rejected nature, he and his team went on to become a super stealthy group of penguin secret agents, breaking out of zoos, stealing boats, and doing whatever they can to help their zoo animal friends and save the day. We already know what his teammates can do, but what skills does Skipper have besides just being the leader? Let's find out. Skipper is a master of stealth and strategy, leading his team to victory at every turn. He can sneak past people and take them out with a single chop to the neck, and even avoid being seen by security guards. He can pilot and control many different kinds of vehicles, from cars to planes to submarines to even jetpacks. He knows kung fu, judo, and some very handy magic satchel to enforce that lets him pull random items out of nowhere. Very specific random items, like a laser deflecting mirror. But there's really not any actual weapons he has on his own without getting Rico to vomit them up for him, which we all know is not allowed. His arsenal may not be much, but his adaptability to improvise his way out of any kind of situation is quite impressive. He's got a pretty sharp aim too. He once activated a machine by shooting the button from a distance with a cheese puff out of a bag. And he was able to cut several ropes and untie his friends, then turn out the lights by just throwing a nickel. And this is part of a rescue mission where Skipper himself was the one that got captured and ended up having to save himself because his team wasn't very helpful. With all of his careful planning, adapting, and improvising, and the fact that he beat his team three on one, it's clear to see why Skipper is the leader. The Penguins, Skipper especially, have proven that they're near the top of the food chain in their own verse in terms of power. They're able to casually one-shot fully grown humans, take on a group of Fusa, and several other large zoo animals like gorillas and elephants. Skipper proved himself to be physically superior to Alex the Lion when he casually beat the old lady that could trade blows with him. A lion that could lift a giraffe, hippo, and zebra at the same time, and survive a punch so hard that it cracked the ground several meters away. Skipper himself is no slouch in toughness either. He survived being launched all the way to Fort Knox, Kentucky from a cannon at a circus in New York in mere moments. That's a distance of over 700 miles. He survived the self-destruct of the Northwind's plane, outsmarted a trained animal hunter who can run through walls, and genius scientists. And he was stealthy enough to make it past all the guards in Fort Knox. He can casually avoid and reflect lasers, dodge missiles by dancing, and is quick enough to control a jetpack that moves so fast that it creates a sonic boom by breaking the sound barrier. Skipper and his team are either really good or really lucky. But one thing everyone can agree on, they're psychotic little penguins. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Try to do parry noises. He's Agent P, or some call him Perry the Platypus. 
five years ago, this little platypus had been found by ALCA, the organization without a cool acronym, and was placed in a pet store for a host family to adopt him. The host family for this little platypus was none other than kid geniuses Phineas and Ferb. They picked him out because he was able to look at both of them at the same time with his weird, crooked eyes. From that point on, he was their pet with a secret double life as a crime-fighting agent. He would often sneak off during the daytime to enter his secret lair through some cool entrance to gain info from Major Monogram on his daily mission to defeat Dr. Doofenshmirtz. He's a master of making cool entrances and sneaking away when no one's looking. But of course, as a secret agent, he's got a bunch of cool gadgets for fighting all different kinds of crime. Harry has several vehicles who assist him in finding the lair of his enemies. A flying hover car, a hoverboard, a scooter, a submarine, and we can't forget his jetpack, which has a super quick turbo mode. He has a notepad and communication watch for talking to his boss and jotting down info about his enemies. He carries a grappling hook, a generic ray gun, and even has a suitcase full of whistles. These whistles can be used to summon various animals to help Perry out. Even his hat can be used like a saw to cut him out of trouble. Perry can attack with his tail or his beak, and he even has his own fighting style called Platai Jitsu, or Way of the Platypus. One downside, though, is that Perry is quite a bit gullible. He falls into just about all of Doofenshmirtz's traps, but he does manage to escape whenever Doofenshmirtz doesn't let him out himself, like he usually does. He'd even do something crazy like shape the three longest hairs on his head into the shape of a key. Yeah, he's done it before. He may not be the greatest at stealth, but he's a master of escape. Perry also has quite a soft spot for his host family. If anyone threatens them, he'll go into serious mode and take down his foe as fast as possible. Anyone who can't make up their mind! Ferb and I can't seem to make up our minds. Funny, now I can't make up my mind! With his powerful kicks and attacks, Perry is able to knock a fully grown human off their feet. He's able to work his way out of any jam and can casually bust through walls and ceilings with ease. And of course he's able to deal damage to Dr. Doofenshmirtz who survived a gigantic two-ton tinfoil ball crashing into his building and taking out the top part. Perry can dodge missiles and fights other kinds of evil as well. He's beaten robots built by an evil and more threatening version of Doofenshmirtz from an alternate dimension, and he's even teamed up with people like the Avengers to fight crime as well. He's even had a chance to lead his own team with agents from Alka. He's fought with a rogue secret agent, a cyborg platypus, and has consistently been described to be the best that Alka has. But is the semi-aquatic mammal secret agent good enough to take down the leader of the Penguins of Madagascar? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. You. You are what's been holding me back all these years. Oh, very clever. Take my accusing finger and point it back at me. So, so you think I'm responsible for my failures? What? You're wrong. I can prove it. Leopold the Brave is confirmed a waifu. <laughs> hey guys, ZDog667 here. Katie, here, here to make another universe's prediction. Yay, I like those. And especially so, since the next one is actually my most wanted um, fight in like in the history of versus predictions. It's like one of my most wanted fights. Um, pretty sure to go. So I'm glad Leopold the Brave is doing it. It's Skipper versus Perry. And, um, I think that Perry will win. Just, it's that simple. Reasons, I feel he has better, um, equipment, better acrobatic skills. And he is used to doing his work alone. Because most of the time, he stops Dr. Doofenshmirtz on his own. And, and in one case, um, he actually helped, um, one of the snail agents from the Circle of Salt thing. Like, because, like... There was an episode where Dr. Doofenshmirtz surrounded a snail agent in salt, because haha, funny. Skipper, however, I don't feel he has as much equipment or skills to take down Perry. But still, uh, and he's more used to working as a team with his, with his other penguins. So, I think that Perry will win the next episode, and I'm really hoping Perry will win. So, that's it for me. See you guys later. Dooby dooby doo ba dooby. Alright, hey guys, Brandon Gaming VA here for uh, my second Universe's prediction. I didn't do one of the GTA Battle Royale because I didn't know much about any of them. So, today we've got. Trevor one. GTS prediction. Today we've got uh, Skipper from uh, oh. Penguins of Madagascar versus uh, Agent P from Phineas and Ferb. And we have three other Agent people. Agent P. We have Butter Samurai. Hi. Good looking, Mega, as usual. Mega Bombs A16. Merp. And Caleb's animations. The one and only great one in this chat. You wish. 
And, uh, yeah, well, you're right. You're the only great one. I'm the perfect one. So, we've all come to the unanimous conclusion that uh, we think Perry's gonna win. Skipper win! What? No! <laughs> Come yeah, on, penguin, penguins beat platypuses by a mile. Let's be honest here. Not Whoa. true, because... No, it is, okay, I'd rather, about, okay, I'd rather have a penguin as a pet. Well, that's not the point. The point is... Actually, uh, I'd rather have a platypus because a penguin could not survive in the environment that I am currently in. So <laughs> I would... I would feel bad if I had a penguin and it died because of the environment. Why are we talking about Anyway, this? we did say, okay, Skipper <laughs> does have some physical advantages, like his being able to slide on his stomach and outrace cars and explosions, but yes, he, might, he may even but... be stronger, actually, because of uh, some of the stuff he's done, like using a crowbar to open steel doors and stuff. Then again, yes, then again, and... He Actually, was... aren't they kind of equal in strength? Cause Perry can lift giant machines and robots. That's true. Yeah, he easily and pushes a uh, do doofy like, smart like, push like out? over can cliffs he... and all that. Can he throw doofins? Like, he doesn't he like throw doofins parts across rooms like literally every episode. Yes. Yeah. So then, yeah, he can like, like grab Perry. He's got uh, he has more of his weapons on his own. Super relies on other uh, his other teammates to give him weapons. He's got. Better training, because like he actually has, he's done more things. He's more experienced. He's fought more formidable opponents. And robotic army. He's like and he's the, like twenty times smarter. Well, yeah, and Super another can outrace an explosion. Perry can survive one because he's exactly. yeah. a lot of a lot of punishment actually. Well, and yeah, Skipper is pretty durable. He's not gonna hold up to Perry, who puts up. Wait, with a actually, lot. no. Can Skipper survive free falls from airplanes? Uh, uh, no, he, he survived it, but he landed on a bounce house. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Forget I said bounce that. houses nullify all effects. It's like um, how uh, pillars of concrete mean you beat uh, a continent buster. Yeah, yeah, it's... <laughs> so, yeah. uh... Yeah. You know, I, I think that's, and that's also, it. Or, yeah, Butter got something to say? Uh, his undeniable luck. He has so much luck. I mean, first episode, a plane just so happened to fly by which he used to get out of the way. And, what's, what's, okay, right now, here's what I have to say. Which is more consistent to use in a fight, luck or skill? Perry has uh, considering the, those, though. Considering Depending the, on the character. <laughs> and also, his arsenal is all remote controlled, while uh, Skipper but gets his arsenal Rico from that one arsenal. penguin. Rico. Like, Caleb, there's Rico, two different yeah. ways you can look at this, because, like, there's Perry's luck, where... It, like, happens occasionally. And then you have, like, someone like Domino's luck that happens, like, consistently. Alright, so I think, because the, um, the prediction part has to be kind of short, I think this is where we should cut it off. But, uh, again, thanks for watching. Yeah. And, uh, you, go, you know. can, I say go pee -pee. can I say something? Yeah. Go pee, -pee. No. And the results are in. The winner is... Skipper! Okay, okay, I'm gonna be real and get super honest here. I wanted Perry to win so, so badly. I had so much fun researching him, and had quite a bit of pain going over Skipper's stuff. Yep, the movies are fine, but that TV show? Oh, that TV show. That's the reason it took me so long to do this. But let's, let's just go over how he won anyways. Let's start off with the biggest argument I saw people using when rooting for Perry. It's that Skipper is typically a team player while Perry often fights alone. Now normally that's a good argument for anyone who works on a team, but Skipper is like the Leonardo of his group. Sure, he's at his best when he's with his team, but he still has proven that he can go solo. He's had to bail them out of trouble on multiple occasions, and he's taken on all three of them at once by himself. Besides, the same argument could easily be used against Perry. The only one he normally fights himself is Doofenshmirtz, a villain who isn't very threatening. He often lets Perry out of his traps and even activates the self-destruct buttons on his own machines. When Perry has to fight much bigger and badder enemies, he needs a team as well, whether it be the Avengers, other agents of Alka, or even his own host family. When Perry was reassigned to the Regurgitator because Doofenshmirtz was no longer considered threatening, he was captured and would have failed his mission if it weren't for Doofenshmirtz showing up and installing an escape button into Perry's trap. At least I didn't push the release button I installed inside Perry the Platypus's cage. <laughs> 
<laughs> Perry has even failed against Doofenshmirtz himself a few times. Don't worry, I'm not trying to downplay Perry at all. I'm very aware that these are specific low points and Perry has had some very huge successes. I'm merely pointing out the fact that he falls victim to the exact same argument people try to use against Skipper. Alright, now into the nitty gritty. Other reasons include their physical attributes and stats. In an episode where Candace alters the outcome of an episode where Doofenshmirtz got hit by the two-ton tinfoil ball, Perry is the one who gets hit by the ball instead. He survives, but he's left in a full body cast for 18 months. This is the best durability feat Perry has shown in the entire series, and it left him in a full body cast. Skipper's Toon Force had allowed him to survive explosions and other forces much greater than that. His speed is greater as well. Perry can dodge missiles. Skipper can dance with them. Perry can dodge a laser, Skipper can dodge a barrage of them and reflect them, and Skipper can pilot jetpacks that move faster than the speed of sound. Skipper may not have an impressive arsenal himself, but he's faced foes who do. Besides his saw hat and ray gun, most of Perry's large arsenal is used for traveling and communication instead of fighting anyways. Now, Toon Force can be beaten, it's not some impossible magic that makes you win a fight. In an episode of my previous series, I showed how Invader Zim could beat Kararo from Sergeant Frog with durability bypassing weapons, hacks, and just an all-around landslide of better stats. These all helped Zim get around Kararo's Toon Force. Sadly, Perry doesn't have any of these things. Skipper's greater speed, stats, superior stealth, and experience with more threatening enemies gives him the win. I mean, Perry is basically on a routine with Doofenshmirtz. He's not prepared to go solo against someone who completely breaks that routine. The winner is Skipper. Don't you think we should tell them that the boat's out of gas? Nah, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Get ready for the next battle.